The EasyDens allows you to take highly accurate measurements at any part of the brewing process, even when alcohol is present. I've been using one both commercially and at home for many years now, and I'm gonna go through how to set it up, walk you through using one, and tell you why I love it. Before we get started, let's talk about Anton Parr, the manufacturer of this product. They're an industry leader for laboratory equipment in the beer and wine and many other industries as well. They've been in business for over 100 years, um, they, European quality and engineering with global level support. They're constantly updating their products, so it's just this is kind of the high end of lab equipment, but at a great price that will work for home brewers as well. So let's start with how it works. You know, it's just like a hydrometer, it's measuring the density of the solution, but it's doing it via sound oscillation. So it's highly accurate and it's also less susceptible to temperature variants. This is the same method that Anton Parr uses in their high-end brewery equipment, but now it's in a nice small package that's available at a better price for the home brewer. They've been able to lower the price by eliminating the need for a screen so it pairs with your smartphone device and we'll walk through doing that. It does it via Bluetooth. Using the Easy Dens is super simple and we're gonna walk you through how to do that. The thing I love about it is it just takes a small sample size, so it's 10 ml, as opposed to filling up an entire hydrometer jar. So especially on the cold side, say you got five gallons of finished beer, if you're taking a sample every day or every other day, you're gonna lose pints, where with the Easy Dens, you're just gonna lose a little bit of liquid to take your measurements. The cool thing about this device is you could share it. So you can go in with your homebrew club or if you work at a commercial brewery, you guys could all use this. Um, only one person can be connected at a time and the data is stored locally, but you could you know, write that down, take your measurement and add it to your brew logs. So the first thing you need to do is download the Brewmeister app. It's free, it's available in both Android and iPhone on the Apple Store. Uh, so you download the app, then you're gonna pair it via Bluetooth. So you do need a device to interface this um, and it's a free application again. In the settings, you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius, bricks, Play-Doh, standard gravity. There's a ton of different measurements in there. So before you even connect, you can go ahead and set that or after the fact. First thing you need to do, make sure you have Bluetooth turned on on your phone, open the app, hit the connect button, turn the device on, and it's gonna connect up super easy. So once you have the device all set up, it's time to take a measurement. It's super easy. If you're, you're doing it uh, pre-fermentation, uh, just make sure that, that it's cooled down slightly, and then you're gonna take that 10 ml sample, push it through to fill the little glass uh, chamber that's inside there, and then hit start measurement on there. And it's gonna go ahead and take your reading, tell you the temperature, uh, et cetera. The thing I love about this is it gives you result in seconds, and it's also super easy to read since it's right on your screen. You're not trying to find out where the, the meniscus is on your hydrometer and looking close and putting your bifocals on to see that. So it's super easy to read. You could take a screen capture of it. You could send it to your friends to show them how, the gravity you hit. It's pretty cool. One thing to note, if you're taking measurements of wort, you know, you don't need to worry about degassing it, but if we're taking uh, of, of post uh, fermentation or even finished beer, you need to make sure you degas it. And there's a couple ways you can do that. Take the syringe, pull it back, uh, take your solution, let it warm up, stir it. So we want to make sure whatever we're taking a measurement of is degassed. Next thing we want to do is just maintenance. Uh, cleaning it super easy. Uh, take a little hot tap water, run it through there, um, using the same syringe in the tube that you use to take the measurement. And then I also like to push air through there, just kind of move any of the liquid out. Um, and then you could put it upside down or, or just let it dry out, but we're just gonna put it away. Keep your tools nice and clean and they're gonna last you forever. There it is, super easy to use, takes highly accurate readings, uh, tracks your data, have it right there in your app, easy to read, um, nice and sturdy, not like hydrometer. I don't know how many hydrometers I've broken over the years and there's nothing like not having that on the day. I um, won't say that this is unbreakable because you know there is glass inside there, so don't drop it, but this thing's built to last. Uh, I've been using it, like I said, for several years now. I love this device. Yeah, it lives up to its namesake, Easy Dens. So you can find this on morebeer.com, the link's below. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments and thanks for watching.